the world is experiencing a fast-paced transition into new or other energy sources that may not be new anyway. One of the most underutilized sources of energy in the world is biomass or biogas, and which can sufficiently satisfy our energy needs for a sustainable environment. In this video, I'll be showing you how simple it is to construct your own biodigester with minimal effort. For this kind of content and many more building projects like this, please consider subscribing and turn on your notifications as we learn together. For my existing subscribers, thanks for always being there. Thinkers, plug in your devices to an electric outlet and let us learn from this video. Before we commence on this construction process, here are the materials and devices you may need. A container, a 200 liter container. The container could be any size and shape. Our priority is to be able to put in an inlet also known as mixer and the outlet for the slurry on it. One inch PVC pipe. This will be used for the outlet slurry. You can choose to make it bigger but this is good enough for the size of the container we are trying to use. 1 inch socket. This plugs into the container to make a tight connection and for you to extend the outlet slurry pipe. 2 inch PVC pipe. This is basically for inlet pipe. It seems too tiny in this design. However, Eli from Malawi who used my video to construct his own biodigester made some modifications and made the inlet pipe as big as 6 inches. You can as well make it bigger but for this construction we are using a 2 inch pipe for the inlet. You will also need PVC gum to join PVC pipes together, silicone gel, then a power drill and some drip bit. Because I intend to keep this build simple, I usually make a hole a little above the middle of the container. But for easy maintenance and flushing out of the slurry completely, making the 1 inch hole at the bottom of the container will be a better choice. Whichever one you choose will serve. Now, we need to work on the inlet pipe. The inlet pipe must be long enough to be touching the base of the container or almost if you have a means to suspend it like that. To keep it simple, it is better to make it touch the base as this would allow for rigidity and when pouring in your waste, you can be sure it will withstand the weight. All you need to do is bevel the tip of the pipe making sure it faces upward when it's all. In this case, I'm using an existing hole on the container. But adventure you decide to use a larger size for the inlet pipe, then you will have to drill a hole that can accommodate it. So it's time to seal up every hole. Use silicone gel or any other type of seal you have available to you. Some have suggested a flex which I'm going to try in my next build. Whatever works for you, the goal is to make sure it is airtight. Any little leakage and the process cannot work. At this point, I will ask you to please give this video a like if you have gained anything so far and if you have not, give a like in advance as more information is still coming. One last job to do is to find a nice spot on top of the container to install a gas tap. In this video, I used a no return valve. At the point, the gas was not coming into the tube. I had to remove the valve assembly, though some still suggest it when I tried it the prayer of the gas was not enough to open the valve but if it works for you please comment below with the recommended no return valve it will help all of us now install the gas hose on the gas tap this design will not allow you to plug the gas hose from the digester directly to your burner as it will require some form of prayer except you want to use a gas pump to lift the gas from the digester to the burner which will require another source of energy to power. I will advise you use a gas bag and what I personally find affordable is the tube of a tire. It does serve well. At a point, I had this small rim 16 tube which gets used up quickly and I had to upgrade it to a truck tube big enough to start and finish up a meal without running out. If you want to know how quickly your gas gets filled up when it is used up and other information, I have a video about that which is coming up right now and you can as well find the link in the description box. With the tube, you can easily prior it by placing a weight on it. From the gas bag or in this case the tube, then to your burner, 
please note, if the prayer is not enough, it may not work with your burner. Remember your regular LPG are already compressed, but your biogas are not. So you really have to exert some prayer or compress it into a container just like your LPG. The installation on the tube can be simplified by a T-socket or fitting, which will allow the gas to come in as well as go out of the container. This is why a suitable no return valve is very key. Else, you will need to be manually turning off and on the taps when you want to put it to use. Or you can simply create additional hole and put a valve. This must be done in such a way that it is air tight and there is no leakage. Remember that any leakage renders this process useless. Every fitting or connection must be tested for leakages and that is only when you can be sure to have a good and desired result. What is next is to put in your waste. I usually use cow dung first because science has it that it contains a higher level of methane than any other. I've been asked a lot of times if other kind of animal waste like poultry and pig waste can be used. The simple answer is yes. Any waste can be used, even human feces, and so far it is organic or biodegradable. If you need more details about this, the link is in the description below. For using cow dung mixed with other food wastes, I got a result in the first 7 days. Eli got ease in 4 days or more. Please comment below on how long it takes for your gas to be produced when you make your own biodigester and please tell us the kind of waste you use first. Remember, you must continuously feed your digester every day for it to keep producing gas. This is very vital. Give it more waste and it will give you more gas. Once you have gas in your tube, all you need to do is to use it for whatever you like. Cook run your generator or your vehicle, you are simply one digester away from enjoying free gas forever. I believe this video will help you to construct your own digester and I want you to please like this video and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Remember, your likes and comments are my inspiration. Please inspire me more. Till another video, enjoy your free gas in advance.